match report for West Ham versus Norwich. I wasn't even at the game, which is going to sound confusing, but I was on holiday and I wasn't at the game. But my dad just sent me a load of vi videos about the game or at the game because he went on his own. And I'm just going to do a match report of it. But before we start, I'm going to show you something. It's under this hat. And I'm going to show you in three, two, one, boom! I've got curtains and before you ask I didn't really want curtains I just swept my hair back and it just turns into curtains but this might be temporary this might be permanent I don't know but it it's gonna stay for this video I might as well just keep this hat off while I'm at it so I wasn't at the game so I have to do the match I have to look at the match report on my phone which I got here, and I've also got the program which my dad kindly gave to me. It's got Robert Snodgrass on the front, as you just saw. It's got a nice design to it. It's got the teams on the back, like it usually does, and it's got this little claret strip at the top here. And quite like the design. It don't have. Yeah, that's. I'm looking at the stats on the Premier League app. This is not a sponsor, by the way. Just the only sports app that I have. That's not a game or anything. But let's look at the West Ham stats for West Ham versus Norwich. And here it is. So, stats. So, apparently, according to my dad, it was a good game. Everyone played well. I don't really know because I didn't watch it, but well I watched a bit of it on TV, but it was already 2-0 by the time I started watching it, but anyway it was apparently a good game, we stopped Pookie from scoring, that's, good. that's a good sign, and it was good because we won two games in a row for the first time in a while I think but it's been a good road Hannah's got three goals in two games so he could be top goal scorer contender maybe top score goal scorer for us definitely maybe get like 20 goals this season which would be good and Norwich they played well I think seeing as they had more possession they had 51.4 but if you didn't know the scorers were Sebastian Haller who got his third goal and Andre Yarmolenko who scored his first goal after about a year or t 11 months and Haller's goal got assisted by Masawaku the referee was Paul Tierney the two assistant referees were Edward Smart and Harry Leonard. The fourth official was Matt Dunahoo. Who? <laughs> Do you get... Um, I'll just stop with the puns and jokes. And the attendance was 59,950. Which is good seeing as most people that don't support West Ham say Oh West Ham don't fill up their stadium! Yeah, uh, yeah, we have about 6,100 seats to fill, and we filled 6,000, six, no, 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 not 6,000, 61,000 uh, seats to fill, and we filled pretty much 60,000 yesterday. So, West Ham had more shots on target, it was 8 shots on target for West Ham, 3 for Norwich, 18 shots overall for West Ham, and 8 for Norwich. These stats are very strange because there's like touches, passes, but passes are crucial anyway. Tackles, clearances, corners, offsides. And the head to head, so we play, West Ham and Norwich have played 11 times before. West Ham have won 3, Norwich have won 2, and we have drawn 6 times. No, it's not overall, to, all, like, not played overall, it's just in the Premier League, by the way. The previous results were 2-2, 2-2 and 2-0 to West Ham. 
And the lineups were Lucas Fabianski. Oh, this is the lineup for West Ham. Lucas Fabianski, Angelo Bonner, Issa Diop, Ryan Fredericks, Arthur Masawaku, Andre Yarmolenko, Felipe Anderson, or the Panna King. I don't know. That's, that's just my uh, own nickname that I just gave him. You've got Manuel Lanzini, Mark Noble, and Declan Rice, who's actually in the England squad for the national break. He might even start against Bulgaria, who knows? And up front we got Sebastian Haller and the substitutes were Roberto, Fabian Balbuena, Pablo Zabaleta, Robert Snodgrass, Carlos Sanchez, Pablo Fornals and Albion Ajeti. But now that's, um, what's his name, Chicharito has gone, I'd love to see more of Albion Ajeti. Like, even when Haller's injured or something, I'd want to see more of Albion Ajeti, I want to see him play well. Not just in the cup, because Antonio's injured and he can play striker. So if Haller gets injured, Albion or Jetty's there, or we could get Hugo back. If you don't know who Hugo is, it's Jordan Hugo, the goat. He's the one who scored five and six, five goals in six games for QPR. And Grady Diangarn has also done well on loan, three goals in four games. But the Norwich lineups were Tim Krull, who was back at his best. I'm not sure if 2014 Tim Krull travelled into the future. Because <laughs> Tim Krull played like his 2014 self. Because remember, Tim Krull saved about like five penalties in the penalty shootout in the semi finals. No, in the World Cup of 2014, not the semi finals. Where did I get that from? But anyway, the defenders were Max Ahrens, Ben Godfrey, Christoph. Zimmerman and Jamal Lewis. We got Moritz Lino, Relitzna in midfield, along with Todd Cantwell, Emiliano Buendia, Marco Stapeman, Tom and Tom Tribal. And up front is the dangerous Timu Puki, who he managed to stop, luckily. He didn't score. And there was a familiar face on the bench, the most expensive signing in the world at £750 million. It was Sam Byram. I don't think he even came on. Oh, Jesus Christ, someone slammed the door really hard. But. Stats. West, following Arsenal and Everton's games and scores, West Ham have dropped down to 7th because we were originally 5th. And Norwich are surprisingly now 19th. I, when Norwich came up, I genuinely thought that they would do what Wolves did last season. And, like, do really well. But that's not happened. That's, not, that's really not what happened that much. That, I think Sheffield went... That's been Sheffield Wednesday, pretty much. I thought they'd do bad. I thought, like... They would just lose a load of games like Huddersfield did last season. But no, they've been pretty good. Billy Sharp up front, been deadly. But let's see some other stats. So, like, top scorers in the league. So, the top scorer is Sergio Aguero, followed by Timu Puki and Raheem Sterling in joint second. Joint fourth, we've got Tammy Abraham, Ashley Barnes. And then we got a whole bunch on joint six. We got Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Sebastian Haller, Daniel James, who's been really deadly, Harry Kane, Mohamed Salah, and Jamie Vardy. But yeah, it's been a good game. My net, my first match back in England, my first West Ham blog, will be at home to Man United, who will hopefully win. No, not who will hopefully win, that makes no sense. Who we will hopefully beat, that's what I meant. And hopefully it's a good game, hopefully it's a repeat of what happened at the final game of bowling. That still tears me up. But anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye!